Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail once again, and I just wanted to do a quick video showing my latest mini that I've done. This one was a lot of fun to do because it was using just kind of found objects, things that you would typically throw away, as well as just goodies out of my stash. I didn't go out and buy anything specifically for this album. Um, and with this one, um, like I said, it was just fun stuff that I found around the house that'll be be interesting. I, with this one, I did do some interesting different kind of paper that I'll show you here in just a minute. Because this was with found objects from around the house, I named it Happiness Found. I'm going to put some photos of family and that sort of thing in it. Um, did a little bit of glossy accents over um, this Happiness Found that I made on my computer. This is done with corrugated cardboard that I just tore off some of the surface on and distressed it. A lot of you have been doing that. Um, and then I Mod Podged um, some paper. The paper I used in this was from a couple, I think it was a couple years ago. It's the Stella Ruby, the basic gray. It's one of those six by six, pa six, by six pads that I'd had for a while. Um, and so by Mod Podging it on, tearing it, it kind of looked like an old box that had gotten torn up. Mod Podged it on the inside as well. I like this one because it uses um, dressmaking patterns. And since I sew a lot, that um, was kind of fun. On this page is just a little photo mat that slips into a little pocket that's got some uh, glossy accents on a little clock punched out of some scrap paper. Um, but what's interesting about the pages in here is you can see they kind of look like old ancient parchment type of paper, that sort of thing. What this is, is this paper made out of plastic grocery bags. I, di I did upload a tutorial on how to make this. At the same time I uploaded this album, I went ahead and filmed the tutorial before I did the album because I knew everybody was going to go nuts and want to um, know how I made those out of plastic bags. Great way to keep stuff out of the landfill. That's one of the things in this album is I have a lot of items that maybe would normally have gone into the trash. This used white bags. I just then distressed it with acrylic paints. This is with some tan bags from a different grocery store. Um, on this back side I have a tag and here I use just the um, little twisty things from uh, bread bags um, that I just stapled on. This, it says treasures on it. It's kind of hard to see. I did it real pale. Um, this is the UPC code off of a uh, FedEx package that I received, so I snagged that. Excuse me, distressed it. On this page, I just have a little, this this comes unclipped, but on, inside you can do some journaling, photo or, or journaling underneath. These are some buttons that I found that I Boy, I got those like a billion years ago and I was looking for something else and I found those buttons so I thought I'd use those. Again, the plastic paper just came out so cool. I'm really excited about it. This page is an old frame, a little frame that I had, some flowers. These are the flowers I actually took apart. One of the arrangements that I would had in my bathroom for years and I really hated it. So I took apart the flowers to reuse them. So rather than throwing them away. Um, here I've done some stays on ink to... Um, stamp a butterfly on. Because this is plastic, um, I needed to use the stays on ink. Over on this page, this is one of my little mini paper bags. And rather than having this flap be loose, I went ahead and attached it down. So then it created a little pocket. And then these are tags that came on jeans that my daughter got for school this year. They had some nifty little cardboard um, tags that had little eyelets. So I snagged those and just covered them with paper. Use those. Inside here, this is just the basic Office Depot kind of tags. I um, colored it with Distress Ink and then um, stamped some more butterfly, same butterfly stamp on in a platinum ink. You can do some journaling on the back side. Another one that's just um, craft paper type tag. And here I used um, a twisty tie from a plastic bag as the quote unquote ribbon on it. Back side, I kept it relatively plain for a photo to go here. Here's a can lid. I have the kind of can opener that just cuts the seal rather than cutting it with a sharp edge. So put a flower on it, put paper on the back, punch a circle, put that on the back side so you can put a little photo here. Here I just put a little photo mat with some corners, fed my stickle addiction, um, again on that plastic paper. Um, on this page I have a little tag that slips under another little plastic um, band that I've hooked on there. And on this one, my kids like this root beer that's a natural soda, and it has blue tags, so I keep stealing all the blue tags. I know I'd use them for something someday, and it looks perfect. That's the little tag on there. Uh, over on this page, um, this was a 
a Capri Sun juice pouch. Just cut it, washed it all out, made a pocket out of it. These are some more of those tags for my daughter's jeans, another one of the bread bag things, as well as um, some fortune cookies. Um, fortunes, and so it's hold tight to your dreams on that one. The other one says, always have old memories and young hopes. And another one of those pop top things tied on there, made a cute little pocket. I colored that with alcohol ink. Um, left this um, side of it plain. This is another corrugated cardboard um, page in there, some Prima flowers. Over on this page, I have some old um, library card pockets and cards that go with it that you so you can make your own library of your books. Yeah, like I'm going to do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, but I thought they're perfect for the scrapbooking. Makes a great pocket covered over the center part with some paper. Could put a photo backside, distressed it, and could do some um, journaling there. On another one of the plastic pages. Over on this side, another little photo mat that slips under a ribbon. Got a little angel that. I make these little angels at Christmas time for friends, make them into little necklaces. So I put one of those little angels on there. Over on this side, it's another one of my little mini paper bags that I get at Michael's. Again, made into a little pocket. This is an orange juice can, frozen orange juice can lid. Another bread box, bread thing there. These things are like, I have a bread box and there's like 400 of them in there, I swear, because heaven forbid my kids could throw them away. Here's another alcohol ink tag that I colored and then stamped um, butterflies in gold. Another craft tag here. Real subtle. It's got some real pale leaves that are stamped on there. Um, plain on this side. And then some little tiny tags here and a little pocket that I sewed in because I had to sew in all of my minis. I had to do some sewing. Um, just some little tiny tags that have those um, little kind of like price tag things that you can get it off of Depot too. And I usually just use the tag, but this one I used the ring as well and tied that on. So I got three of those. And then on this last page, just have one of those spinning kind of uh, for a group of photos. I didn't do the back side of them because I figured they're not really going to show back side. So I have to put a label on it, but here again I just stressed it and Mod Podge the paper on so it kind of looks like an old box that got torn up. I'm going to design a label that's going to go back on on the back side of all my minis. But anyway, um, this was just a fun found object. Here's a key. Um, found object kind of of mini. Didn't buy anything for this. This is all stuff that I had or found around the house, that sort of thing. But I had a blast making these plastic papers. So watch my tutorial on that and have fun playing with it because, oh god, it was, it was just tons of fun. It made a really cute, cool little vintage style album. So anyway, there is happiness found. Thanks for watching.